She likes glamour, runway, style, fame. She likes fashion. Hi and welcome to tonight's show, A New You. Today we're going to be talking about weight loss, one of my favorite subjects, being a yo-yo dieter myself, going up and down, and how hard it is to lose weight. Also, I find that um, it takes so much time, time in preparation, time for shopping, um, uh, and also losing weight and uh, eating healthily does actually cost more money than being unhealthy and gaining weight. We're going to be talking to um, uh, three different people. One is a nutritionist who's going to show us the good food and the bad food. We're going to be talking to a beautician as well, Charmaine, um, to see the kinds of treatments or one of the kinds of treatments that you can do when you have lost weight to help with firming and toning of the skin. And we're also going to be talking to Dr. Pillow about a, a calorie controlled uh, diet, which um, you would need to have support of your doctor to carry out. So stay tuned, we'll see you soon. So Dalia, welcome to New You. Um, uh, obviously today's pro uh, topic is uh, food, diet, healthy eating versus non-healthy eating. And uh, we've got a few items here that you're going to tell us a little bit about. That's it. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Um, uh, so yes, as you rightly said, here we have a variety of food that um, uh, some are considered as being unhealthy, others better, I mean healthy. Now, um, I, we try to mix and match even with regards when we do the shopping. So we're starting from literally the basics. Mm -hmm. So when we do the shopping list, it's very, very important that first and foremost, we, we go on a full stomach so we don't go on an empty stomach because it's others, true. If you go tend, if you go shopping when you're hungry, you tend to. That's it. We tend to you now to, to take the first thing that comes to, to mind, and uh, and also to have a plan. Mm -hmm. is to have a shopping list with us, mm -hmm. so that we know what we're going to buy. So that even the cost, we try. You're to, keeping to, it down. Yes, try to limit it as much as possible. Over here we have either fresh fruit and we can consider also fresh vegetables and also the, the ready-made ready -made snacks, ready-made food like pizza here, we have the, the ready-made pasta, mm. we find the pasta with, yeah, uh, with this salmon is. for example, salmon sauce. Now, what's the difference between these ones and the ones that we can cook at home, right? When we buy ready-made food such as those, mm. okay, we're more um, uh, going to the side where it has a lot of much more fat, much more salt and sugar, which um, on the whole, they're not providing us with the more nutrition that we need. So when we talk about nutrition, we need to talk about something that is nutrient dense rather than calorie dense. Okay, so let's say for example, because obviously Time, I, I find personally that time is a big factor in my daily routine. So, you know, cooking and whatever. And it's very easy to get um, a frozen pizza, chuck it yeah. in the oven, it takes you two seconds, you know, yeah. and it's cooked and then to, to feed it. Um, uh, with the children especially. And um, this is uh, sort of like a dried ready-made pasta, which is also very easy, it's made in minutes. But what would an alternative be then that would be healthy, uh, and not very time consuming, let's say. Okay, so when we start, for example, try to cook something which is light and healthy and something quick, if we're talking about, for example, pasta, mm -hmm. okay, what we can do is that to prepare ahead, mm -hmm. for example, if we're doing like a pasta, for example, bolognese mm -hmm. or a white sauce, mm -hmm. what we can do is make a large portion and then we freeze it into portions in the freezer. So you so would freeze the cooked pasta? As no, well, no the, just the sauce, so that just the sauce. Pasta, then it only takes 10 to 15 minutes maximum boiling, you know, to, okay. yeah, to, to be cooked. Mm -hmm. So, and, I mean, it's the, it's the sauce that takes much of the time. So if you have a sauce which is homemade, so you know what you put into it, yes. which is with less sugar, with less salt, you know, less preservatives, mm -hmm. it's much more healthy. Right. And you know what you're eating, something's already I mean, ready for you, 
and you can have it you know, in half an hour. So one of them, the tips would be to cook double the quantity, yeah. obviously, use half of it or whatever it is that you need to use for that particular day, and the rest of it then you package, store, and put into the freezer an for another no, time. For those for so this we don't okay. use. This is not good for us at all. Not really, no. There are better alternatives. Okay. okay. So now, if we talk let's about... Let's forget that then. We'll put that to the back of the table. Now, if we talk about pizza, for example, mm -hmm. okay, if we're in a rush, then it's a one-off, mm -hmm. it's fine, you know, to have like a piece of it and then maybe we can add a side salad to it. Okay. So instead of eating all of it, even when we're eating out, instead of having the whole pizza, why don't we share it? For uh -huh. example, and have a else, salad. And have it as a salad on the side. You know? So it's like you're not feeling deprived, you're not feeling like you're on a diet or anything, mm -hmm. but you're still enjoying the same meal as everyone else. What is it about pizza that's not good for you? Is it the, the base? Is it that it is made with flour? Is a gluten-free pizza healthier for you? No. Or? When it's, it's not gluten-free, does, does not mean that it's healthier. healthier. Okay. okay? Um, uh, when it comes to pizza, for example, most pro most of the time is they have a lot of additives like this, like the cheese, for example. It's a, it has a lot of fat into it and mm -hmm. a lot of salt. The mm -hmm. base, which is um, yes, it usually it differs from one pizza brand to the other. But the the, the thicker it is, the more fat content it, it has. Okay. And then of course we need to th to think about the toppings. Okay, if so this topping, has... for example, this one here has mozzarella, tomato mm -hmm. and a little bit of um, pesto, I think. Yeah, this is not bad. So no, this not, is not yeah, too bad. Not too bad. But uh, if those that has like, for example, processed meats, like pepperoni, you know, those are which That's... contain a lot of salt, a lot okay, of Okay, so you're adding meat. on. Yes. Okay. So are you saying, though, that these pizzas, which are frozen, that they are less healthy than ones, let's say, for example, you go out to a pizzeria and you're having a fresh pizza okay. made, is that a bit of a healthier option than this, though, or is pizza across the board. No, I think pizza is it differs on the topics, the, the toppings, toppings. That, that you put onto it, but whether it's fresh or frozen doesn't really make much of a right. difference. It's the same with canned, frozen or fresh, fresh produce like vegetables. Mm -hmm. See, So you can use this instead of giving all of it to your child, <laughs> you give them half with a side salad. Or else you make the dough yourself, which you know exactly what you put into it. And you can freeze the dough and then make it. I mean, when it's not you make it at when when he's hungry right and then, but yes. you do it on the weekend. It's a lot of prepping. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it does involve preparation. It preparation. Involve plan, this I mean. is the this is the the main problem. Unfortunately, the there's no hard and fast rule. If you want to eat healthy, then you need to think ahead. You yes. know, you need to prepare. Um, as I said, there's practical tips. Like for example, you freeze in bulk. Yeah, um, you buy things and maybe you know prepare them beforehand. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, not, it's not as complicated as one is, you know, thing. One thinks. Okay, so here we have some other things. For example, over here, this is um, muesli. Uh, muesli and uh, oats. Yes. Yeah. So this is healthy? Well, yes, this is healthy. It's one because it has a lot of fiber into it. Mm -hmm. uh, like oats, um, they contain like beta lichens, which help to lower the cholesterol levels. Mm -hmm. And also they help to fill you up more. Now, when we add dried fruit and, uh, and maybe some nuts, if you wish, it's even healthier because we will like filling our nutrition even more, okay. you know, filling ourselves up more. We have healthy fats into them and the, the sweetness from the dried fruit, it's, it's better than, for example, adding sugar or any or like honey. You know, so, so let's say for an sweetness. alternative to this. So this is this is quite good. This mixture with yes. sort of oats and muesli and whatever. But if you got just the plain porridge oats, then yes. and you added uh, some of the you dried can add, fruit, some either dried fruit or a fresh, or fresh banana fruit. or fresh okay. fruit, whatever you like, and then you just can add like some spices or some nuts if you want. Okay, you can start doing from scratch this as one well, as well. And that would probably be cheaper as well if it's you cheaper, made it from scratch. Healthier, yes. Right. Yeah. So this is. Um, some uh, cereal, breakfast cereal, yeah. which is supposed to be for people wanting to lose weight and wanting to be fit. What, what can you tell us about this? Well, unfortunately, those branded cereals, they're much more, you know, a lot of sugar. They have okay. a lot of sugar into them. I mean, okay, we do have the dried fruit, but as you can see, they're coated with sugar, mm -hmm. most of them, and, and they have a lot of processed, you know, refined sugar, processed uh, processed flour. Right. Ideally, that's why we opt for something which is less processed, less refined, the better. So the the actual flake Brand. itself, yeah. this is good or bad? It's not bad, but however, you need to look at the food labels of every product. Right. And that's very important that we are conscious what we're buying. Mm -hmm. If, we, for example, the first product is sugar, then we know that it is quite laden with sugar. So it has mm -hmm. a high content of sugar and protein and, uh, and fat, for example. 
So we need to, to limit those. So we, can, we do find other cereals which are healthier. Okay. okay. And then we can add them up, not necessarily like oats, but other cereals like bran, um, contained with bran or some mm -hmm. made of wheat, for example. So when you're buying a cereal, then you look at the packet and the, the um, uh, items or the ingredients to look out for, or the, the quantities, let's say, are the sugar, right? Yes. And the salt. Especially, yes. However, if we want to look at, at the emphasize on the positive aspect, ideally we opt for grains or cereals that are whole grain mm -hmm. yeah, or whole meal. Mm -hmm. Even, for example, if we want to make a toast in the morning, there's nothing Brown. wrong in having it and having it. As long as it's whole grain or whole meal, it's not because it has less calories, but because it has more fiber, it will fill you up more and it has much more nutrition in that. Okay, so, so it keeps sugar, you... it will give it will give you satisfied much more. Okay. So here we have another thing, for example, these rice cakes, mm -hmm. which people on diets as well are always eating to fill up. Yes. Good or bad? Personally no. They are not. Because to be honest, they they taste less and plus yes, they, they, are, taste they have just you know empty calories. You know, these kind, they don't provide the necessary energy, the necessary nutrients or vitamins or minerals that the body needs. Okay. It's just empty calories, which they will spike the sugar. It's a very know. good, uh, you know what it is, though, when you go to work, sort of, and uh, it's easy to take a, a packet with you and... Um, yeah, you can uh, have a whole grain crackers, for example, whole grain crackers instead of those. You know, made of rye, made of wheat, you know, made, but something which is whole grain. Instead, these are made of processed, refined rice, for example. Right. You know, because they are rice cakes. Yes. Instead, well, you can have like whole I grain. I thought rice crackers, was healthy for you, though. But not the refined part. Right? If it's whole <laughs> okay. grain rice, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> right. You know, so if you, you can have, as I said, whole grain crackers, whole grain, you know, rice cakes, whatever, and you can apply something like a peanut butter, for example, a teaspoon of peanut butter, um, low-fat cheese and some vegetables maybe, or mm -hmm. a low-fat dip. So you can use that, but it depends what, which one you opt for. So okay. instead of those, you can opt for the whole grain or whole meat kind. Popcorn? Popcorn is a very nutritious snack. Nutritious? It has, yes, it's very, it's very, it's a, it's a grain and it has a lot of, um, of nutrients, it has fiber and it, it has some protein as well in it. So as a snack, as long as it's not laden with oil and salt, it's perfectly fine. Right. So not the ones that we find at Because it's very cinemas. easy, this is very easy to, to make for very yourself. Easy, yes, it's very easy, yes, very easy. Drop it in the, in, the, in the pot and it, it lasts all day. So if, for example, you were taking something to work and you wanted a snack for afternoon or whatever, yes. then this would be a yes. good option, this is a bad option. That's right. And that's you right. make this yourself. With a little bit of salt, that's okay? Just a bit I mean, to taste it? A little it? bit, yes, it's like a pinch of salt, as long yeah. as it's not laden with salt. Okay. Over here we have some tins. Yes. What are these? Now, here we have the tuna. They are still very, very good, you know. We can use them either in our salads and our, and our sauces and our, like, pasta. They still contain the, the right um, good fats, for example, if they're in olive oil or in vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. And they still contain um, uh, the, the nutrition that we need. So okay. it's okay to buy them in oil? Yes. Okay. Yes. You However, don't have to get them in brine. Not necessarily. No. I mean, the excess oil you drain it. You drain it. Okay, and then you use it. Right. So you don't need to add any extra. For example. So oil tuna oil. fish is a good option for your fish and more affordable than fresh fish. I mean, obviously, fresh fish yes, would be yes, your first yes. option, right? But it is a bit expensive because, in reality, actually eating healthy does cost a lot, doesn't it? Well, it depends what you look out for. To mm. be honest, um, if we look. Over here, mm. you know, we need to look in the long, in the long term. Right. You know? So, okay, maybe today we have these like snacks. It's it's they're much cheaper. You know, yes, if they you are. Want to, to have, but if you buy a packet of popcorn, mm -hmm. you know, and you just prepare half of a packet, it will last you for three or four people minimum. Mm -hmm. you know? it's so true. while this, you know, it will only keep you energized. Not even energized. It will fill you no. up for half an it hour. It just occupies max. your mouth, really, doesn't it? Half, half an hour, <laughs> and then you're still hungry again. And yeah. What kind of nutrition did you get from that? Nothing. Mm. While a snack like this, it has much more vitamins, much more fiber, and it will keep you energized, you know, for longer. Right. Because blood sugar will keep you will keep them much more stable than this. Right. It's the same with other fruit. It has less less sugar, less salt. You know, it's natural fiber in them. For example, the apple, if you cook it, yes, does it still remain uh, good for oh, you? Yes, as long as you then don't Then you can add cinnamon, and, that's right, though, yes. cinnamon, which is okay. Cinnamon, other spices, yes, it's good perfectly way of fine. Going. Okay. Yes, perfect. As long as you don't add any cream to it. <laughs> well, so what about these two? I think this is uh, baked beans, is it? Yes, these are beans. Good or bad? Yes, they're, they're, they're good. Mm -hmm. However, um, 
Remember, when they process like this, beans in themselves, they're very healthy. They have high protein, they do have a um, good source of iron as well. However, when they're in, in frozen, uh, in canned, so sorry, we need to be careful of the amount of sugar and, sugar. and salt again. Right. Okay? So if we have it like a one-off, it's fine, you know? Mm -hmm. But however, what we can do is, is is uh, buy the dried variety, dried beans and dried legumes. And make your own. It doesn't look as bad as, as it may sound, mind you. Bec I do it all the time. Yeah, what, we, what I do, just soak them overnight and then just boil it for 45, 60 minutes and then freeze them in different bags. And when, when you feel like, don't, I mean, don't take much time at all. You can use them in casseroles, you can do, use them in salads, you can use them in dips, you know? And you okay. can use them as a snack. What about and this, uh, this mixed, mixed, mixed veg? Have veg in, in tins and frozen it's fine. veg? I mean, vegetables and these legumes, you know, if they're fresh, frozen, or, or canned, they're perfectly fine, as long as they don't have any extra salt in them. What we can do is just, you know, wash them a little bit, just rinse them a little bit from, from the salt that they contain. So, so if you are, because again, vegetables, uh, you know, when, you, when you're trying to feed your family with fresh veg and uh, yeah. fruit, it also is expensive. Yeah, and you can do the, the frozen variety. So frozen is it's good. Perfectly fine. Even the, the tin Tinned fruit, no, though. Oh, yes. And if they're in their natural juice, it's yes. fine. Uh -huh. If they're in the extra like syrup or extra juice or extra salt, it's not. It's not, it's not okay. So then what we're saying is that tinned fruit is fine as long as it's in, you need to look at the label and it has to be yeah. in its natural juice. Um, the tinned or frozen um, uh, veg is okay as well, checking on the sugar and salt levels. Yeah. Stuff like baked beans, that's okay as long as it's not a regular every day. Yes. Is it a better snack to, say, a pizza? If you have it, say, for example, baked beans with a baked potato? Well, yes, why not? But then again, it depends the dough of the pizza and the toppings of the pizza. Okay, yeah, all right, so, so some are worse than others. Mm -hmm. Right, and then when it comes to um, uh, fresh fruit and uh, veg, how much are you supposed to take per day? Usually it's five a day. So that would be, say, five apples? No. When you say five apples, for example, if it's the size of, like, apples, bananas, pear and orange, that's a, that's a one portion. Okay? So, usually we say three fruits in a day, uh -huh. split in between meals, okay? But your main meals, ideally, would be consist of that. The majority of the plate would consist of vegetables. Now, whether they're fresh, frozen or cooked doesn't make any difference, as long as they're included in your meal. Okay. okay. Now, the more colorful, the more varied it is, the better, because the more nutrients you will be getting. So color is equal to nutrients yes. as well? Yes. yes. Right. And lastly then, over here we have some dried milk. Yeah. Why have we got this here? We got this dried milk powder because um, uh, it is, when dried milk powder is, it has a lower fat content than the, the, milk. the full fat or the full fat cream. And we can use it in, uh, in a variety of, uh, of dishes. For example, either in our casseroles or to make cream ourselves, for example. You know, you Dried milk? It. You can add it in order to increase the protein content as well. Yes, you can have it instead with water. You add it with water. So you mean if you're making if you're making um, like a, a sauce, white sauce yeah, for example, yeah, yes, yeah. so you can use like either the low-fat milk with the mm -hmm. skimmed milk, mm -hmm. or or the, the the powder, or you can add more powder in order to make to thicken it more mm -hmm. instead of using the full-fat milk. Oh, I never okay. thought of that. So it's uh, like these practical things which you will conscious of what you're having without you know costing much because they will last quite uh, quite a lot. So really and truly there isn't any shortcut to being healthy then you really do have to you have to plan it you have to have the time for it yes. you can save money on planning obviously yes. but planning when, is important That's as you rightly said when you plan it you save a lot of money you know when you think ahead of what your next week's um, menu will be like mm -hmm. you can shop all the list without any extra or maybe you find anything that you're not going to use mm -hmm. And then again, what you can what you can do is to use the leftovers that you have from food, which is also you know being more economical instead of throwing out a lot of the food that you're not eating. Yeah. You know, so use them yeah, for wastage. for work, you know, for other things. You know, so there are ways and means, but yes, it involves planning. You know, there isn't any hard and fast rule. You know, waiting doesn't comes like this, and, and waiting doesn't go doesn't just like go this. Doesn't go either. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Dalia. I'm sure we'll thank be meeting you. you again in future programs. Thank you so much. Um, um, thank you for the interesting information. Thank you.